Hi YouTube, I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple water b bomb. All you really need is a piece of paper. It can be regular printer paper that you cut off at the edges. Or you can get one of those um, post-it notes. It doesn't really matter. You'll need scissors if you got printer paper. All you do for the printer paper is fold it like a triangle. And then, and then if there's a squ with the square at the bottom, just cut it. I already did that. Uh, you can pause the video and do that. So you get a square. All you have to do is fold down one time, crease, open, fold down another time on the other side and then you already have the triangle fold that you already made so all you have to do now is take the two corners with the middle fold you can it can be this one it can be this one doesn't really matter I'm gonna use this one and make it fold down so it's a triangle and crease it you can use the back of your scissors so your hand doesn't get red so you have a triangle now it should have a middle right there all you have to do now is take the corner pull it up like this make sure you get it to the very top increase it so it should have a flap there now take the other corner do the exact same thing we're going to be mirroring everything we do on one side to the other, so remember that. So turn it around, near the exact movements, and try to make it even with the, this one, this one. And take this pull it over and mirror you should end up with a square uh, and two flaps at the same end and then this one at the other end so now what you want to do is you want to take one side doesn't matter what side and then th bend this downwards just crease it if your head, hand gets red, just use your scissors and crease it. My hands aren't red. Do the other, do it to the other side. Make sure that this part is even with this part. Mirror the other side. Another way is that this this top part right here goes to this line see so now you got a kind of weird box looking thing so all you have to do now is go on the end with not not this end the one the here this end where there's flaps you just take it you fold it this way you don't have to fold it this way you can just directly put it in this patch right here but it helps to do that see like it doesn't sometimes fit well now it does but sometimes it takes a while so you can just do that and make sure the the longer one is at the bottom and they're even like there's a V right here see V turn it over and mirror sometimes you want to open the thing with the scissors
I didn't do that pre-folding, but it doesn't really matter. You can just do it like this. I would have originally just gone like this, folding it like that, and taking it, open the patch, and then put it in. But it doesn't really matter. So once you've done that, you simply open it on the sides. See? And then take your scissors and crease it. If you don't have scissors, you can just use your hand. And then you're going to see a hole on one side. All you have to do is blow into it. If the hole isn't big enough, what I suggest you doing, taking your scissors and cutting a small part of it. There, that way the hole gets bigger. And here you have your water bomb. What you can do is you put water in here, and since there's so many folds around it, like the folds we did here, the water won't escape, but it's good to throw it soon, not to hold and be like, oh, I have a water bomb, Woo. You have to throw it soon because it'll start making the water moist and not be able to throw it well. So yeah, uh, and also you can take a lighter or something, lay it on the side, uh, press a little button on the side of the lighter, and put it the hole into this right here, and release the butane, and then whenever you, it doesn't take that long, 15 seconds, 10 seconds, you light it and it'll pop, it'll just go, Phew! and it'll be a jet engine too. So that is how to make a water bomb or a jet engine. So please subscribe and eat more potatoes.